Well, first of all, I want to say thank you for coming here and sharing your knowledge in this unique field. Um, you were talking about Sharia, the real Sharia, and the ideals of inclusiveness and human rights embedded in this type of law. Now, my question is, what has been the social, political, and cultural impact of the Sharia law in the life and experience of women and homosexuals? Thank you. Well, I'm at a disadvantage here. I'm neither. <laughs> uh, it has, Sharia is, is Islamic law is reflective of the society from which it emerges, the society within which it functions. When we look at Islamic law with regard to women, from our perspective, and by our I mean our Western secular perspective, modern Western secular perspective, uh, it, it certainly is less than on par. From a secular perspective, the average Muslim woman has fewer rights than a non-Muslim woman in a Western society. The average Muslim woman, from a secular Western perspective, has fewer rights than a woman in a Western secular society. But the average Muslim woman, when compared to the average Chinese woman, or when compared to the average African woman, or when compared to the average Hindu woman, may actually have more rights. I'm not saying it's entirely the case, or less rights. The point I want to make by, by giving you these examples is to, to highlight the fact that these laws are conditioned by the cultural milieu in which they are embedded. No community has simply taken what was written in a text and used that and applied that literally without concern or cognizance of their context. Whether not, not the Islamic community nor any other community. Hindu law 40, 400 years ago and Hindu law today, are, is, is, are, these are two different things. Islamic law 400 years ago and Islamic law today, these are two different things. Remember when we said that there is an ideal that is the Sharia, but it is an utterly unattainable ideal because it is cosmic and it resides, resides in the mind of God. And then we have approximations of that Sharia through the process of fiqh. And that changes from time to time. It changes from period to period. We have abundant examples within traditional Islam of the law undergoing changes because of changed circumstances. So, and with regard to homosexuality, Islam is, along with Christianity, Judaism, Hinduism, African culture, all of these traditional Defining term, traditional cultural dispensations generally all look at homosexuality negatively. So Islam, in, to that extent, is no different from any other traditional way of looking at the practice that you and I today know as homosexuality and which we in this country and in, in the West consider a form of social living that is no different from heterosexual social life. 